Okay guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here, welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, we're inside of Starfield, where we are seeing the worst possible outcome after the most recent updates. And we're also taking a look at what's going to be coming over the next year for Starfield users. This is a really, really interesting one, and one that is concerning for the game's title, to say the least. We didn't expect to see it this bad, but we knew it was definitely coming at some stage. With that being said though, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor Advanced GG, number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market. My favourite flavour is cherry vanilla, but you guys can catch an array of flavours via the link in the description. If you use code CLOUD now, you'll get a cheeky 35% off if you manage to jump in there before the 27th of December. So with that being said, let's dive on in to some Starfield rating movements. So Starfield's Steam ratings have gotten even worse. The continued dissatisfaction with Starfield has caused its Steam rating to sink dramatically. But a recent change may be an even more troubling look for the game. Now, Starfield is no longer having a mixed review rating on Steam, as its recent reviews left by players are mostly negative, where only 37% are satisfied with the game in recent review ratings of around 8,000 people. Now, while Starfield enjoyed a successful launch in September 2023, the latest Bethesda title has slowly sunk in popularity. Coming from Skyrim and Fallout 4, many Bethesda fans seem disappointed in Starfield as an overall. Though Bethesda should be commended for attempting to make something different it would appear that the majority of players are dissatisfied with the direction taken. Starfield's singular focus on procedural generation arguably deprived it of the quote-unquote magic that drew fans to Bethesda games in the first place, and some players have claimed that it felt more like a theme park of empty worlds and static cities connected via loading screens than an immersive sandbox experience that older Bethesda titles have effortly channeled. As a result, Starfield currently boasts a 37% rating on Steam, gathered rather from other user reviews, made by its players in the last 30 days. While an ambitious roadmap for Starfield has been shared by the Bethesda, it did little to improve the current public opinion of the game. The resurgence of Cyberpunk 2077, as well as the colossal acclaim that Baldur's Gate 3 received, have arguably been the worst thing that could have happened to Starfield. Many of its dissatisfied players have weighed and measured it against the other two titles, which has only served a further highlight of Starfield most glaring flaws as a role-playing game. Now, with Skyrim having more players than Starfield, it's clear that the game doesn't quite have the appeal that Bethesda may have ho been hoping for. However, that doesn't mean that this will always be the case. Bethesda hasn't abandoned Starfield just yet, as around 250 employees are still working on the game and will be releasing regular updates in 2024. And as you can see right here, at a mostly negative rating, with 34% of the two 7,300 users over the last 30 days, uh, it's not great. It's really, really not great. We've got a mostly negative rating, and it does seem that this is going to be a worry in future for Starfield as an overall. But there is a future there still. With it coming up to the end of the year, we want to talk about and thank all of our players for joining us for the incredible launch of Starfield. Now, there was actually a massive update about what's happening in the next year, and some incredible figures coming from the Starfield community-wise from Bethesda. Bethesda. It states right here, with 30 million players since September, this has been the biggest launch in our history. Your support of this new adventure has meant everything to us. You've been busy out there in space for the past few months, and we want to share some fantastic stats about what you've been up to. Together, you visited nearly 2 billion planets, which is an astronomical number. Check out the full infographic right here. I'm going to leave some of them on screen, as there are some quite interesting facts inside of it. And going into next year, we're likely to see these numbers rise quite a bit as well but they go on to state the following but we're not just here to say goodbye to 2023 we've been working hard at work on everything coming to starfield in 2024 while we're not ready to go into all the details just yet here's a glimpse of some of the things that we're cooking up first we're targeting updates roughly every six weeks starting in february these updates will include everything from quality of life improvements to content and feature updates and join our 
Steam beta branch to be the first to try these updates as they begin rolling out. Six weeks is quite a good motive for a game like this, although it's quite a long period of time. Obviously, if things kind of don't go great with these updates, six weeks till things get fixed is a little bit of a nightmare, but they do state right here that we've been reading all of your feedback and are excited to start launching these new features. We'll be adding new ways to travel and you'll now be able to access city maps while exploring the major cities. For those of you who love shipbuilding, we'll also be expanding a ship customization with ship decorations, new shipbuilding options and more. We're also excited to be adding all new gameplay options. With these new settings, you'll be able to alter your gameplay to allow for an easier and more challenging experience that will expand beyond our normal quote-unquote difficulty settings. These will allow you to easily customize carry capacity, cargo access distance, ship damage, vendor credits, how you suffer afflictions, new survival mechanics and more. So essentially what they're saying is, is that you're going to be able to make some customizations to the way that the game plays, which is quite nice and this Essentially, it's almost like having an in-game modding system as to how the game actually feels, which for consoles, you guys will really appreciate that with no ability for mods. But while we talk about mods, they do state right here that next official mod support will be coming to Starfield with the launch of Creations beginning early next year. Starfield will be getting its own exporter and you will have access to new creation kits. Modding has always been an enormous part of our games with incredible community-made content constantly bringing fresh new experiences. With the scale and systems in Starfield, field we can't wait to see what you come up with and lastly the team is working hard on the development of shattered space our first major expansion coming next year you'll have new story content new locations new gear and much more we can't wait to share more with you next year Thank you so much for all of the amazing feedback and please keep it coming. We do read it all and it guides us in what you really want to see in the game going forward. For the latest on Starfield, make sure you join the Constellation and get exclusive access to our Constellation Discord. I'll leave the links down in the description, guys, so you guys can go and check that out. But I find that this post really does contradict a lot. The guys at Bethesda have been kind of renowned with seeing how it is that their game is structured, how their game is made, how the game is to be played, and how it is that the general public and consumers actually do enjoy it or not enjoy it they haven't really listened to a lot of things especially when it comes to the constructive criticism and have obviously had the controversy of replying to negative reviews over on steam and so forth with the uh, chat gpt style comments it's a little bit ridiculous and for me it doesn't really make much sense as to why that they've been doing it but what it does state to me is that they probably haven't heard as much as what they say they are i personally think for the like of Todd Howard, maybe the development team behind the game, or at least the people and the high up tables deciding what happens to it, that this game may actually be exactly what they wanted it to be and how the concept of this game was genuinely meant to work, I feel like it may actually be what they think it was supposed to be. The problem is, is that the community don't like that and with the mostly negative reviews, it kind of stems quite heavily that that may well be the case. And that does kind of lead to question as to whether Starfield's going to have much of a future uh, as far as its vanilla copies. The PC version of this game will always do quite well, especially once they launch the official mod support and everything like that, being able to come as it has its own exporter and new creation kit. People are going to be generating some crazy stuff and insane things that you guys will have just never seen inside of a game like Starfield before. Those, unfortunately, on console, you guys will have the vanilla gameplay, and I don't think that Bethesda are going to be leaning too heavily into helping you guys enjoy it any more than what they already are. Fully rate some of the new features, and I really hope that they do listen and we kind of go into shattered space with a whole new concept rather than just an expansion to what it is that we already have because what we already have is a little bit boring a little bit lacklustered and it's really really one of those games that you either enjoy it or you don't and i know that people think that with most games but it just doesn't seem to be the case with this game it's really really weird niche bracketing that if you don't match that niche bracketing this game is just obliterated and absolutely ridiculous and absolutely sucks and that's just the honest truth let me know what you guys are thinking about the game and it's future via the comment section below we're going to be having content going all the way up until the new year as we are grinding really really hard to try and keep you up to date with all of the latest news inside of the gaming scene if you haven't already smash that like button and subscribe with post notifications turned on as i'd hate for you guys to miss any more news from the gaming side of the space thanks again for watching appreciate you all and as always up until the next time i'll see you in the clouds